before I start this video, I just want to say happy birthday to my friend Jace. He's a great guy. He's uh, helped me get into this little COD community, put uh, my place in and shit like that. So thank you to him. He's a great guy. Make sure you go wish happy birthday down in the comments section to him. He always comments some uh, stupid shit. So <laughs> yeah, so here's the video. Here come the mods. Yep, I can already see them. Wee! Okay, so I can die, but who on their team can't? Oh, they have two people that can't die. Well, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Watch, it's gonna put me back in the same game. No, but it's another modded lobby. Oh, my fucking lord. Today's video is going to be an interesting one, I guess. I don't know. Yesterday's video was pretty interesting, you know, Mr. Pistol. First episode of that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys seem to like it, so I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? This one is more of, it's kind of like a story, but it's not really a story. I don't know how to explain it, but it's more of a, just a message that I want you guys, you know, to get across here. There was a point in time in my life where I didn't think I was going to live anymore. And I'm not afraid to say that. I thought I was getting, you know, off myself essentially. I just went 21 and one, but okay. I thought there was one day where I wasn't just gonna wake up one day and I was just gonna die and nobody was gonna appreciate the fact that I was dead or anything like that. And how I feel about it is, you guys are always worth something whether you know it or not. I didn't really have anybody to tell me that and I didn't know how to, you know, deal with it. It was really a thing that just sort of happened to me. There was no way I could deal with it and it sucked a lot and I'm telling you guys there is ways to deal with it other than locking yourself in your room you know crying yourself to sleep whatever it may be but there's other ways to get through what you're going through this video is about self-worth and what it actually means and why you need to actually have some to feel okay inside I know some of you guys comment down there like you know you helped me out you make me happy you know or I can go on Jeb's videos and or anybody's videos for that matter, Markiplier, PewDiePie, uh, all those people. Like, you make me happy, like, this is where I go when I don't have anything to feel anymore. And I get it. I understand it. I know how it feels. There was, like I said, there was a point in time in my life where I thought tomorrow wasn't a thing. Every day I would go, like, living like that. One of my favorite self-worth quotes is, Your value doesn't decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. And it may be people who are bringing you down, it may be yourself, but somewhere out there is going to notice that you are really important. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, hell, it might not even be in a year, but you guys are important. You guys are a part of something bigger. And this is a video that you should watch if you feel down. And I'm going to put it on the channel because I think it deserves to be talked about. You know me, I always talk about the things that people really don't, really don't address. Because I'm that type of person, you know what I'm saying? If someone tells you that you can't do anything, that's a load of fucking bullshit. They don't fucking know you. Your parents, your friends, acquaintances, people you go to school with, that's a bunch of bullshit. If someone tells you you can't do shit, they're a piece of shit themselves. And there's a lot of people in my life that tell me I couldn't do anything. And here I am doing what the fuck I want to do. Going to school, fucking passing college, sitting here in my fucking room, making a video, talking to almost 3,000 people who want to watch me. And that brings a fucking tear to my eye. I'm like crying right now. Because that makes me so fucking happy. You don't even know. There's some people that told me I wouldn't find love. And now I have a girlfriend of a year. And we're going to get married. Not soon, but eventually. And that's a wonderful feeling too. It's funny how everything comes together when you absolutely need it to. Okay. Someone who has nothing better to do with their time than talk shit is ridiculous. It's not even needed. And the only person who can let it affect anyone talking shit about you is yourself. So this is why having self-worth is important. So when someone says something about you, only you can believe it. Sure, it may or may not be true. Most of the time, it's not even true. Only you can believe it. The God! So self-worth is really important. I really think that YouTube is extremely helping my self-worth as a person 
because of the pure fact, you know, I'm able to come and talk in front of you guys. I really didn't have anybody when I was younger to talk to. You know, just talking about this shit is just fucking, you know, it's it's hard because will anybody listen to you? Does anybody even care? And really and truly, I care. And I know how it feels to be at the lowest point that you can be at. The lowest low that you could have ever lowed in your entire life. I know what that feels like. And I know what it like feels like to be good. I mean, I feel good. There's some days where I don't want to get out of bed, but it happens, you know. It's all part of being a human. And I feel like this video should be a really important one on my channel. The one that everybody should watch. Even though it might not do good, and I don't, you know, I don't really care. But this is an important video, to me at least. If you need help and you need someone to talk to, I'm going to be your guy. Because honestly, I know how it feels. And I know how it feels to be all alone, by yourself no one really to help you out or nobody knows what you're going through now obviously there's limitations to that because some things i have not gone through other things that i have you know experienced that i can actually help you with and i appreciate everybody that comes and talks to me on xbox twitter whatever it is because it may it increases my self-worth because i know i'm doing a service or justice to everyone else by helping them out and i'm not trying to do this because you know, I want people to feel sorry for me or I want people, you know, to like me because I'm fucking trying to be, you know, the savior of the COD community or some shit like that. But it's not even like that at all. I just know how it feels. It felt like shit. And I'm just glad I'm here today just talking about this because it's, it's hard, you know. I know I've been through a lot of shit. I know others have been through more shit than me. And this is how we get rid of it. We talk about it. We play COD. We do everything. It's, it's just how it goes. So I want this to be the most important video I have ever made. Now I'm going to say that a bunch of times with other videos that come up or come around. But this is one of the important videos I've made. And I just want to thank you guys for everything. And the recent growth of my channel is, is just ridiculous. And I don't know what I'd do without this.